Hi everybody, this is Sherry, and I just wanted to show you um, the first card that I made for Evie um, here on YouTube, who is Trakeza Dot for her Share the Love uh, challenge for February. This is the first one that I've gotten done. The base here is a five and a half by five and a half Stampin' Up Rich Razzleberry cardstock. Then this paper here that I absolutely love was given to me for my birthday and it's called uh, it's Wild Rose Studio Butterfly Glade is the name of it I love every page in that pack every page is prettier than the page before I'm like totally in love with it and I went online to Joann's and they have the Wild Rose Studio paper I'm like yay they don't have any pictures of any of it but I have decided that if this paper is that pretty, then I guess the rest of them are pretty too. Because I'm kind of looking at can buy, <laughs> considered buying them sight unseen. is like, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. But, you know, I mean, I've never seen paper that was so pretty. And every I liked every entire single sheet of it. So I'm hoping that all of them are this good. Because I they're on sale right now at joannes.com. And I'm considering getting them. Just don't tell my husband. And, uh, you know, my motto, I can have all the craft supplies I can sneak past my husband. Yay! <laughs> oh, let me get back to my card. I'm sorry. I love this paper, though. Oh, it's so pretty. And I use my Recollections Bling on a Roll for right here. And then um, these letters are cut out of Rich Razzleberry paper as well. And they're from my Quick Cuts Lemon Drop. Um die and then I use my Martha Stewart polka dot punch here on the edge here to add a little color over on this side this is just one of my saturated canary images I believe she's a digi so I believe she's called fancy and then I want to bring this up so you guys can see this because I was so tickled with this I was trying to figure out how I wanted to cut the bottom, or how I wanted to do her dress. Was I going to just try to cut it out and, and put a base behind it? This is the My Creative Time doily die, and it has a circle in the middle. So I put this part of her up in the die and used the bottom part to cut out the dress and not only did it leave you know a really pretty border but you can see here it cuts indentations for decoration so it really makes the dress just look gorgeous I was so tickled with how it turned out I I, I I'm, if you're not sure exactly what I'm saying let me know and I'll do a video showing you but it's just the round eye and there was a circle in the middle and I cut out the top part and left this part with the paper attached and then I just slid her up through that way it only cut the bottom part of the, the uh, image and I think that explains it but I really love how it looked it really added something really special I think to the image and um, I colored her with my Copics and oh I put some with my jelly roll white uh, jelly roll pen I put some little dots here on the love and to try to bring out the white that I had over here so to kind of blend it all together and that's about it it was real simple I'm gonna put a five and three quarter no a five and a quarter by five and a quarter white layer on the inside because I didn't do anything on the inside yet but I'm just gonna put um, a white layer on the inside so that I can write a note but this is my first card for Evie's who is Turqueza Dot Share the Love project for February and I've got a couple other people that I picked that I wanted to just send something small to to let them know that I appreciate all they've done to support my channel and all the kind comments they leave and you know, it means a lot to me to get on there and see that you all took the time to to do that. It means a lot to me, and I appreciate it. So I hope you guys like the card. Let me know what you think. If you do, give it a thumbs up and leave a comment below.
Thanks for visiting me today, guys, and happy crafting. Bye.